Okay, so can you solve this basic math word problem? I actually think you can. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem here. It is, you can paint a four foot by four foot square in two minutes. How long will it take you to paint a 10 foot by eight foot wall? Okay, now if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the right answer in just one second. Then I'm going to explain this problem and I'm going to be highlighting a critical concept uh, that's in all levels of math, basic math, algebra, geometry. This is something that you absolutely want to understand. But uh, it's not necessary that you completely understand this particular thing I'm gonna be talking about to figure this problem out, okay? So you'll see what I'm gonna be talking about uh, as I get into the solution. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, we are painting a square here, right? So we could paint this square a four foot by four foot square in two minutes. How long is it gonna, at this particular speed, how long is it going to uh, take us to paint this 10 foot by eight foot wall? Well, if you did this correct, uh, you would have come up with the answer of 10 minutes. Now, again, there's different approaches that you could have taken, uh, just even some common sense approaches uh, to get this answer. But nevertheless, if you got the right answer, you got the right answer, and we must celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100%, and multiple stars so you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of solving basic math problems. Now, uh, your family and friends might be like, well, I'm not so impressed. Basic math, that's, you know, or that's not too difficult. Come back and uh, talk to me when you solve all these algebra and geometry word problems. But nevertheless, listen, if you did, if you were able to get this right, that's a great job. And all jokes aside, you do want to understand the concepts here. And as I promised, I'm going to be explaining this. Uh, that's well, I want to say not in a direct common sense kind of way of figuring this out, but I want to highlight a real critical topic uh, in mathematics, and that is what we call proportions. Okay, so we're going to be using proportions and rates uh, to solve this problem. And rates, and there's another uh, word here, ratios as well. Rates, ratios, and proportions are everywhere in mathematics, all level of math. And uh, the better you understand them, the better off you're going to be able to solve a lot of different type of problems. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it right now. So the first thing is when you have any problem, okay, in mathematics, and I would uh, uh, also, uh, you know, basically uh, in any area of life, let me just say that, uh, you just don't want to have a problem and read it once, okay? You want to think about the problem. Now, some of you might be saying, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, what are you talking about think? Of course, we want to think about the problem. Well, what does thinking about a problem mean? Means, well, it means that you want to read the problem at least three times, right? Read the problem once, read it again, really, really think about it. And, you know, oftentimes when you give yourself that wait time, that pause time, you can come up with better solutions. You're like, you know what, I could do the problem this way, but this is a better approach to do the problem. The only time, the only way you're gonna come up with better solutions to the problem is to think and pause about it. So try to uh, make that a habit. But once you've do, uh, done this, what we wanna do in any math word problem is try to visualize it, okay? Come up with some sort of model. And this is where you can be creative. So let's see if we can kind of visually uh, see what's going on here, right? So uh, the problem is you can paint a four foot by four foot square in two minutes. All right, so maybe we can represent this situation and then we'll get back to how long it's gonna take us to paint this 10 foot by eight foot wall. But we have to make a connection to what's going on here, the information. And this is the way I, I'm going to think about the problem. Not, and of course, this is not the only way to think about it, but I'm saying, okay, I got a four foot by four foot square and I can paint this four foot by four foot square in two minutes. So effectively, this is like my painting speed. Okay, this is how fast I can paint. 
Now, I am dealing with a square, right? A four foot by four foot square, and this is four feet by four feet. But what's my coverage, all right? Well, when we talk about a coverage of a square like a wall, we want to talk in, uh, in terms of area, okay? And I guess you can make the case that we're talking about surface area. But any, and if you don't know the difference, no big deal uh, for this particular problem. But basically, we're talking about our coverage, okay? How much can we cover? And to find the area of a square or a rectangle, it's literally just the length times the width. So four feet times four feet is 16 feet squared because this is a foot, this is a foot, and this is foot squared. So make sure you have that units of measure. So basically, the way I want to describe my painting speed is that I can paint 16 square feet per two minutes. That's my speed. But, you know, I kind of want to represent this in a better mathematical way, and that is where we're going to use uh, rates and proportions, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into it right now. And uh, in mathematics, okay, a, uh, uh, a rate, all right? Let me just kind of write these words down here. These are things you need to know, rate, ratios, again, and proportions. So rate and ratios, these things here are fractions, okay? They're fractions, but they're specific type of fractions where we're comparing different units of measure. In other words, for a rate, and by the way, let me just uh, throw this kind of example out. If I said, uh, what is the rate of the uh, rocket ship, okay? Uh, what rate is the train traveling? What rate is the vehicle going? Most of you would say, oh yeah, that word rate, you interpret that as speed, how fast, right? Or velocity, and that's exactly what it is. It's like rate of change. So this word rate, okay, is a very specific kind of concept in mathematics. For example, if a car is going 70 miles uh, per hour. This is the rate of the vehicle. Now, why is that? Well, again, a rate is a fraction where we're comparing two different units of measure, completely different uh, units. So let's go ahead and uh, see the rate our, of our uh, painting speed, okay? So we're comparing uh, square feet, which is area. We're comparing that to minutes, which is time. So area has nothing to do with time, completely different um, units, but when we're comparing this as a fraction, what we have here is a rate. So for example, 70 miles per hour is the same thing as 70 miles, okay? And the fraction bar is this word per one hour, okay? That is the rate of the vehicle. This is distance. We're comparing distance to time. Again, one has nothing to do with the other and another, uh, the other, excuse me. So that is what a rate is. Now, I know I kind of spent a lot of time on it, but if you really understand that, then you'll be able to identify rates and uh, set up proportions. I'll get to a proportion here in a second, but again, uh, that is what a rate is. Now, just to kind of uh, satisfy some of your cur uh, curiosity out there, what is a ratio? A ratio is a fraction as well, but the units of measure uh, are the same. We're comparing the same uh, units. For example, if I was talking about uh, a student-teacher ratio, let's say I had one teacher to 20 students. Okay, now this fraction bar is the word two. One teacher to 20 students. Now some of you are saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, teachers and students, they're different units. Well, no, no, no. A teacher is a human being and a student is a human being. We're counting people. Okay, here we're counting area, here we're counting time. So you gotta be uh, careful, especially about ratios. But anyways, that is a crash uh, course on uh, rates and ratios. But uh, it serves us no purpose uh, to learn about rates and ratios unless we can solve problems, uh, rates and ratio problems, by setting up a proportion. I'll get to that in just one second. All right, so this is our painting speed. We want to define this as a rate, 16 uh, square feet per two minutes. All right, now let's take a look at the other part of this problem, and that is we want to paint this wall, and it's a 10-foot by 8-foot wall, so we need to get our uh, area for this. So the area is going to be length times width, so 8 times 10 is 80 or 80 square feet. Okay, so we want to uh, cover 80 square feet, and we know our coverage speed, 16 square feet per 2 minutes. Now we can set up a proportion and solve this problem. But uh, before we do that, I would like you to solve a problem for me, and that is, hey, I would like to increase my subscriber count. That's a little bit of a problem. Well, it's not a problem. I'm actually very grateful for all those folks that 
uh, subscribe. And matter of fact, you're, if you're a subscriber, a current subscriber, thank you so much. As I make this video, I just crossed over 490,000 subscribers. It blows my mind. I mean, that's a lot of people. And uh, I look at every person that subscribed as like a student of mine, okay? I am a math teacher. That's what I do. There's a lot of things I can't do, but, you know, I'm obsessed with teaching mathematics. I've been doing this for decades and decades. And uh, there's a real need for uh, great math instruction, okay? And when I uh, use the word great, great math instruction to me is clear and understandable. It's effective math instruction. Unfortunately, the way math is taught, it's overly technical. It doesn't have to be that way. And it just ends up confusing people. People are like, I don't get it because, you know, you know, uh, things are being taught in an overly technical manner. And then people get frustrated and quit. I am trying to, uh, you know, alleviate this problem and get people who want to learn math, teach them in a way that they actually understand so they can build up their math skills and confidence. But anyways, I say all that to say this by you subscribing, it does help that algorithm. Uh, help me reach more people. And if you're going to do that, make sure to uh, hit that notification button so you can get my latest videos. All right, so back to the problem. All right, now, as I uh, indicated, that we uh, want to solve this problem using a proportion. Okay, now we can't uh, set up a proportion until we understand what a rate is and a ratio is. And in mathematics, a proportion, okay, is two equal fractions. Okay, we have one fraction equaling to another fraction, but I'm going to be a little more specific here. Okay. So again, a proportion, of course, you can see the work I have set up here. It's uh, one fraction, but I want to say that fraction is a numerator over a denominator, and that's equal to another numerator over denominator. Okay. So a fraction equal to another fraction, two equal fractions in mathematics is a proportion. And you'll see why we want to set up proportions is a nice, easy way to solve them. Okay. All right. So right here, I want to set up a proportion. So I'm thinking, all right, I got one fraction here, this rate, my, my uh, you know, my coverage speed. So this is one fraction. I got a numerator and a denominator. And the thing about this, you got to be very careful, is that the numerators and the denominators must have the same units of measure. So we're going to be comparing the same thing. So in other words, I'm going to be like, all right, I have 16 square feet per two minutes is the same as 80 square feet. Okay, because that's area per how much unit of time? Well, I don't know. Okay, so this is what I'm looking for. All right, so 16 over 2 is the same as 80 over some amount of time. Okay, so I could do 80 square feet in some unit at a time. It's the same. Uh, pro it's proportional to 16 square feet to uh, per two, min uh, two minutes of units of uh, time. Okay, I didn't really kind of come out grammatically correct, but I think most of you understand what I'm saying. But this is the whole strategy that I want you to learn about this particular problem is to identify a rate and know how to set up proportions because this problem is pretty easy. The numbers are pretty easy to work with. You can do this. You can kind of use some common sense. But in math, you're going to be dealing with much more complicated problems that you're going to definitely need to know how to set up proportions and solve. So now let's go ahead and actually set this up. So we can just drop the units of measure for now and just look at the numbers. Okay, so 16 over 2, again, 16 is area, and 2 here, our denominator is time, so the numerator's area and uh, denominator is time, is 16 to 2 is the same thing as 80, or is in proportion to 80 over some unit of time. And we don't know what that unit is, so we're going to use a variable x. So now what we want to do is solve this proportion, two equal fractions, for the unknown value. This is going to be uh, very easy, and I'm going to explain how easy it is to solve a proportion. So to solve any proportion, you need to understand something called the cross product. This is huge. It's one, uh, probably the number one uh, property of proportions that you need to know. It's not the only one, okay? When you learn uh, well, more advanced math, uh, like for example, in my geometry course, I teach you additional properties of proportion. You don't need to know those for uh, like uh, algebra problems, but the cross products, uh, is the one that if you know this, you can solve pretty much any proportion problem. So here, for example, is two, uh, this is two equal fractions, right? One half is the same equivalent to the fraction 7 or four, over 14. So I'll use this simple example. So if we cross multiply, cross product, right? Uh, you'll see the cross product uh, is equal. So 7 times 2 right here is equal to 1 times 14. 7 times 2, of course, is 14. That's equal to uh, 1 times 14 is 14. That is true. So 
Anytime we have a proportion, we can use the cross product to solve that proportion. All right, so here we go. Uh, we have 16 over 2 is equal to 80 over x. Let's solve for x using the cross product. So 16 times x is 16x. 2 times 80 is 2 times 80. And we'll do, uh, just do some basic algebra here. So 16x is equal to 2 times 80 is 160. So to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 16. So 16, or sorry, 160 uh, divided by 16, uh, 16, 160 over 16 is 10. But x is 10. Remember, but what is this uh, measure? But that's in a unit of time in minutes. So we got 10 for x, so that's 10 minutes. Okay, so let's kind of visualize this uh, in another way. Let's suppose you're just kind of use, using some common sense and you're like, all right, I know I can uh, cover four foot by four foot square in two minutes, right? That's what the problem says. And so what I did is I took my wall here. I'm just kind of using some different, um, you know, creative ways that you could have approached this problem. So here's our 10 foot by eight foot wall. So 10, uh, eight foot, right? If I split that in half, that's four and four. So this is eight right here. And then our 10 foot uh, uh, length right here is four and four and two, four and four, eight, and this is two. So I can kind of uh, create some four foot, four foot by four foot squares in here, right? So this four foot by four foot square will take me two minutes. Okay, I already established that in the problem. So I got it, this square will take me two minutes, this square will take me two minutes, and then I have another four by four foot square right here here and here, so another two minutes, another two minutes, and then here, I don't have a four foot square, I have a two by four, okay? But this thing right here uh, creates one four, but one more four by four square, right? So this will take me one minute and one minute. So this is what, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, ten 10 minutes to solve, right? So, you know, another way you can think about this is, okay, it took me uh, two minutes uh, to, uh, cover 16 square uh, feet, and I want to cover uh, 80 square feet. So you might have to just kind of, you know, use some common sense. You're like, all right, 16 goes into 80 uh, five times. So if I take this two and multiply by five, I'll end up with 10 minutes. So a lot of you might say, well, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, all you had to do was this. And I would say, yes, indeed, I understand what you're doing, but really what you're doing is you're kind of expressing uh, a proportion. You're, you're kind of expressing rates. And I could see this work. And matter of fact, if you turn this problem into me, I would probably give you a happy face and an A. Maybe, I don't know if I'd give you A plus, because I would have to still do some interpretation, a little bit of interpretation. Yeah, who knows? Uh, I would not say this is wrong. Okay. But what I wanted to do was to take an opportunity to really make sure you understand how to identify uh, proportions rates and ratios, because this problem is pretty easy, Easy, uh, you know, with the numbers here to, uh, you know, kind of use some common sense to figure it out. But, you know, there's going to be plenty of other type of math problems that aren't, aren't are going to be so easy that you definitely need to understand rates, ratios, and proportions. It's a huge topic. Matter of fact, if you want to learn more about rates, ratios, and proportions, let me give you a few suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel, but I really get heavy duty into this in my full instruction in my algebra courses, okay? Namely, like my Algebra 1 course uh, and in my geometry course as well because proportions are a huge part of learning geometry, okay? So uh, for those of you that are just interested uh, in, like say, high school level geometry, which I'll leave a link to uh, that course in the description, you have to know a good amount of algebra and uh, uh, many geometry problems are actually solved by proportions, okay? So again, all this stuff is interconnected. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.